This film will show you what to expect if you are having a TAVI procedure. Hello, my name is Keith Allison. I'm 78 years old and I'm here for a TAVI procedure on my heart. I got married when I was 28 and I have three children and six grandchildren. At the moment, I'm suffering with breathlessness and dizziness. I'm hoping that this procedure will allow me to have a normal life where I can walk my dog without fear. Fear of something going wrong, getting dizzy, getting up too quickly out of the chair. That is the worst thing, it's fear. My name is Dr. Stephen Brecker. I'm a consultant cardiologist at St. George's Hospital. Keith has the condition of severe aortic stenosis, which is giving him important symptoms of breathlessness and chest pain. Under normal circumstances, he might have been a candidate for open heart surgery, which is the traditional treatment to replace an aortic valve. In Keith's case, however, he's not an ideal candidate for surgery. He's had some forms of surgery before, and he's just not the best candidate for an open heart operation. The less invasive options now are the best ones for him. So we've chosen transcatheter aortic valve implantation for him as an alternative. Your heart valves ensure that your blood flows in the right direction. If they become stiff or narrowed, then your blood doesn't flow properly and there is strain on your heart. A TAVI is a procedure used to replace a damaged aortic valve. A catheter, thin flexible tube with a balloon at its tip, is inserted into your artery, usually in your groin or sometimes in your arm. The catheter is passed up through your artery and into your heart and is positioned in the opening of the valve. The balloon is then gently inflated, which squashes your damaged valve and allows the new valve to be placed in position, which improves your blood flow. Transcatheter aortic valve implantation can be undertaken either under general anaesthetic or under local anaesthetic or conscious sedation. The actual implant procedure usually takes less than an hour. Just getting started to do Keith's procedure, there's a team of people, as you can see, and now we're going to get vascular access. That means putting tubes into blood vessels, and that's the first part of the procedure. Well, the first step is to put a large tube into the blood vessel that's going to guide your uh, equipment to the aortic valve. A little bit further. That's fine. The second step is to make the aortic valve wider with a balloon. The third step is deployment of the valve itself. We're now 40 minutes into the procedure and we've successfully deployed the transcaptor valve. It's almost exactly where we wanted it and we're really very happy with the procedure. First thing to say is that about 90% of patients do very well following this procedure with no complications at all. These patients require quite a lot of care in the days after the procedure and need to take blood thinning tablets and other cardiac medications. We're really hopeful and confident that this procedure is going to give Keith a lot more energy. His breathlessness will be much improved and we think it will give him some additional years of life as well. Good morning, Mr. Allison. Good morning, Doctor. How are you feeling this morning? Like I've not had an operation at all. It was marvellous. I had the operation, I knew nothing about it, and I woke up without any pain or discomfort. How's the breathing? Very good. When do you think I should get out? Well, you had the procedure on Wednesday. Today's Friday. I think you'll be able to go home Sunday or Monday. Good. I'm really looking forward now to walking my dog. It's, I haven't been doing this for over a year. So he'll look forward to it as well. Heart disease is still the single biggest killer in the UK. But for over 50 years, we've tirelessly pioneered research that has helped transform the lives of people living with heart and circulatory conditions. Join our fight for every heartbeat in the UK. Every pound raised, every minute of your time, and every donation to our shops will help make a difference.